Rewrite the scenario of his nightmare. Having anxiety-provoking dreams on a recurring basis, once a week for several months, is not trivia. If this has consequences on your daily life, it is a pathology that can be treated very well. Nightmares, everyone has had them one day or annum. It's not that severe, except when it becomes pathologica. Sleep specialists consider it a disease when it occurs at least once a week for more than six months, with an impact on quality of leaf. Nightmare sickness is considered a sleep disorder by the International Classification of Sleep Disorders, ICSD-3, 1, and a disorder likely to cause distress and impairment of daily functioning by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual Mental Disorders, from the American Psychiatric Association, DSM-5. Negative emotions are not metabolized. The nightmare wakes up after a long sequence of complicated and highly anxiety-provoking or terrifying dream. The scenario depicts an imminent physical or psychological danger. The subject is pursued, attacked. He is going to die, which can, in certain cases, be linked to a trauma or to a very painful life event which causes suffering. One of the functions of sleep is to metabolize negative emotions during dreaming. When these sensations are too strong, it does not work and the alarm clock interrupts the digestion in progress. However, we would have to go to the end of the nightmare to digest it and not repeat it, explains Isabel R. Newolf, head of the sleep pathologies department at the Pitié Salpêtrière Hospital, Paris, and researcher at the Institute of the Bray. It is perfectly normal and important to have nightmares from time to time or after a traumatic event, to turn the page on our emotional experiences, declares Benjamin Putois, clinical psychologist, author of the Manual for the Healing of Nightmares, Editions the Arenas. But here it is. If the sleeper who wakes up from his bad dream quickly regains his senses, he retains a feeling of fear or anxiety which prevents him from going back to sleep and can even cause insomnia. The aftermath of nightmares is very painful. The person is tired, feels depressed, anxious with trouble concentrating and difficulty focusing their attention. It is all the less necessary to minimize the problem that it is possible to cure I. Recreate mental image. Still little developed in France, therapy by repetition of mental imagery, RIM, can reduce the frequency of nightmares and the associated distress by approximately 70%, too. Derived from behavioral and cognitive therapies, CBT, this approach, developed in the United States in the 1990s, is the only one to have obtained greater recommendations, the highest, from American Learned Society. RIM is a very simple method, prescribed by sleep specialists, which can also be applied without medical recourse. It is based, in fact, on everyone's ability to create their own mental images and to become the screenwriter of their dreams. The idea is to rework the scenario of his nightmares, which takes between half an hour and an hour, then to review this scenario every evening for five minutes. The results are obtained in three to four months. In practice, you have to write down your nightmares in the morning and give them a title in the form of a keyword, accident, drowning, morning, ravine, et, is a good start to divert the. Then group them by theme and rank them from the least distressing to the most frightening. You will work one nightmare from this blacklist per week. To modify the scenario, put yourself in the shoes of a director and replace all the scenes, the characters, the negative elements with their opposite, in order to radically change its atmosphere. A feeling of oppression can thus become a feeling of freedom, sadness can be transformed into joy. This creative work takes practice and takes time in the beginning. Visualization exercises to be done every day are valuable for developing the necessary imagination. Once the contents of your nightmares have been cleaned up, imagine a new film that will be their positive versio. Close your eyes, breathe deeply and calmly, visualize the nightmare, then the positive dream you had of I. Repeat the scenario five minutes, once a day for a week. Repeat with the next nightmare, until you re-script everyone on your blacklist. Conventional treatment. While RIM is considered the most effective approach to treating nightmares, other methods can be used. 
This is the case of Cognitive Behavioral Therapies CBT, which allow the patient to acquire techniques for falling asleep. Visualizing a place where you have spent beautiful and good times can thus induce dreams that will give you positive emotions and promote restful sleep, explains Professor Isabel Arnold. When the nightmares have an obvious link with a trauma, past violence, bereavement, rape, et. It is best to console. In this case, it is possible to resort to desensitization and reprocessing by eye movements. EMDR or eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. This therapy consists of following the therapist's index finger with the eyes, which makes rapid movements from left to rig. This causes an alternating bilateral stimulation of the brain promoting the process of psychic healing. By acting on the consequences of the trauma, EMDR can have an effect on nightmare. This therapy would be very effective during the day on the trauma, but its effects on post-traumatic nightmares have been little evaluated, specifies Isabel Arnold. On the drug side, the only one recommended to treat this disease is prazosin, an antihypertensive which reduces adrenaline discharges during sleep. Its prescription is often decided by the doctor when the nightmares are linked to post-traumatic strays. Sleeping pills such as Stilnox are ineffective, like antidepressants or beta blocker. They can even modify paradoxical sleep and increase nightmares, warns Isabel Arnulf. Better to consult a specialist in case of repetitive nightmare. Although they are not dangerous, they nevertheless risk affecting your mental health on a low levee.